Good evening, everybody. I'm back again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about simple linear regression problem. So I will share my computer screen with you. Problem, a study was conducted to determine whether the number of grams of protein eaten per day was related to diastolic blood pressure. The following data had been collected. If there's a significant relationship, predict the diastolic pressure of a person who consumes eight grams of protein per day. What is the corresponding residual value? Find the correlation coefficient what percentage of the variation in diastolic pressure can be explained by the variation in protein amount? So we have data on grams of protein, which is X, and we have diastolic pressure data, which is Y. So we have to enter X and Y data in L1 and L2 of the calculator. So the first thing we do is press the second key, then plus, and then four. And we get clear all list on our calculator screen from where we press enter and we get done. That means the memory of the calculator has been cleared. Now we will enter X data in L1 and Y data in L2. In order to do that, we do stat and then one. Then after entering X data in L1 and Y data in L2, we will press stat button in the second row, then highlight calc in the top row, then select number four, okay, which is lin reg ax plus b. Our x list is l1, y list is l2, frequency list is empty, and we scroll down to calculate, okay, and hit enter. So we get the linear regression line equation, which is y hat equal to 2.66, which is our slope times x plus b, which is our intercept, which is 64.94. Notice the correlation coefficient r value is 0.92, which is a strong positive linear correlation between x and y. And R squared, the coefficient of determination is given by 0.839. Only for R squared, we multiply it with 100%, which transfers it to or translates it to 83.9% of the variation in Y, which is diastolic pressure, can be explained by variation in X, which is protein amount, okay? Now we have been given a particular value of X and asked to predict the value of Y. Predict means forecast using the regression line equation. So we plug in the value of X equal to eight in the equation. Do, we do that very simply in the calculator. We take the slope, which is 2.66, then left parenthesis eight, complete the right parenthesis plus 64. 0.96, okay, well, sorry, 0.94, 64.94, and uh, then hit enter, and the answer is 86.22, that is the predicted value of y for x equal to 8. Now, for x is equal to 8 from the data given in the table, we find y actual is 84. So, what is the residual value? It's y actual minus y predicted, which is 84 minus 86.22 or minus 2.22, okay? If you want to see a plot of x and y that you have entered in L1 and L2, you can always click the zoom button, which is the third key in that extreme top row, zoom, and then nine, okay? So if you don't see it, then you do, Second y equal to, go to second y equal to, then select number one, okay? And make sure the first line, the button is on, the cursor is sitting on on, and the type of plot you want to make is the scatter plot, which is the first type of chart. Put the cursor on 
the first type of chart and hit enter so that the cursor is flashing on first chart. Then list X list is L1, Y list is L2. Now you do zoom nine and you'll see the scatter plot. It is uh, going up the hill that is positive slope like we have found out, but there are two points which are slightly off bit or away from the rest of the data points. Okay, that's it for today. If you have any question or comment, please type in the comment area. I will get back to you. I'll answer all your questions. And please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week and solve new problems in statistics. Goodbye and take care. See you next time.